In this video, we're going to dive deep into the architecture of a typical game file, both on-chain and off-chain. Hey, if you don't know me, I am Kelvin, and at Eat the Blocks, we help Web2 developer transitions into Web3. Let's talk about the game. We can use any kind of platform to build any kind of game that we are interested in. For example, 3D games on Unity, HTML5 for web game, or Pygame for 2D game. But most importantly, every gaming platform will have a mechanism to interact with a REST API. We will use that mechanism to interact with our gaming database through the gaming API. Every game will need a centralized pawn to store all data of game. Most important is the player data, like their credentials, which wallet is associated to which player, their in-game currency balance, in-game assets, etc. Commonly, we use MySQL, Postgres, or MariaDB. After creating the database, we will create a gaming API to select, insert, and update the database. The game will interact with the REST API to update the database accordingly. Now we will need to build smart contracts to represent and manipulate gaming assets on the blockchain. Typically, we will need three kinds of smart contracts. The asset smart contract, usually ERS20, ERS721, and ERS1155. The asset factory smart contract that interact with the asset contract to create and manage assets. The vault smart contract to act as an ATM machine, where player can deposit and withdraw their assets. A couple types of fees and tax can be added to this contract. Every smart contract will have to emit a specific event accurately so that the blockchain bots can listen and categorize those events. The blockchain bot is another important component. The bots will listen to the events from all smart contracts, then put them into a queue. Normally, we use queue from third party like Google Task Queue, but you can create your own queue if you love to. The bot will check for every item in the queue to make sure that it is legit, then interact with various API to update data accordingly. Consider the scenario when user deposit 10 tokens for 10 in-game tickets. Firstly, they interact with the vote smart contract from the front end. The vote will grab the token, store them, and emit a deposit event with all the needed parameters. Then the bot will catch the event, put them in the queue, check for vulnerabilities, and if everything is okay, it will call the gaming API to update the player ticket balance in the database. Of course, that is not all for GameFi. Some games will implement advanced features like token staking and farming, NFT marketplace with auction function, NFT breeding where we can buy two or more NFTs for a more powerful NFT. But if you fail, you lost your NFTs. NFTs, lending, and borrowing. Are you ready to build your own game file? If yes, please join me in my live training session where I can explain to you every aspect of game file. You can register by the link in the description below.